Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members of the patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So let's talk about the JH-7, an aircraft that was found in the files. We don't know yet if it's going to come or not to the game, but normally when aircraft are found in the files during the dev server and they're not ready yet, normally they, are, they get at it, uh, like 90% of the time at least. Uh, sometimes it gets pushed to another... Um, update for example the bishma was like that and uh, we have some other examples as well but i'm pretty sure the jh will probably be at it so what is this aircraft let's talk a little bit about it it's a very interesting aircraft and it makes me wonder where is the su-24 because the jh7 kind of initially at least had that idea of improving a fighter bomber kind of role uh, to replace the older H5s and the Q K um, Q5s, right? So that was the initial idea. This, the objective was to be kind of a low altitude interdictor, more, more or less a fighter bomber that can do basically everything. It was designed during the 80s, you know, the mid to late 80s. The first flight was in 1988. An introduction of it was in 1992, and it's uh, it is being used until now by the People's um, Liberation Army Air Force, I think it's called, um, and the Naval Air Force as well of China. And it is a very, very interesting design. So it is nothing like similar to other interdictors or anything like that. It is kind of a big aircraft. It is two seaters. Uh, two-seater in tandem, right? So one in front of the other. Um, and he uses the Spey engine, which is the oddest thing ever. The Rolls-Royce, yes, the British Rolls-Royce engine. It is, of course, um, licensed built in China, uh, naming it uh, the Xi'an WS-9 Kingling, I think it's called, turbofan engine. So 91.26 kilonewtons of power with afterburner. So, yeah, pretty much a um, Spey engine. Ish initially, I think it was the 202, uh, but still, it is a very, very interesting aircraft. A Chinese design with British engines, like, very weird. Um, so, yeah, the objective was to do some kind of air-to-air -air fighting, but mainly being able to defend itself while attacking ground targets. So, it's an aircraft that, have, that has four pylons under the wings and two pylons um, under the fuselage. This is the JH-7A, which is the improved variant uh, that apparently is the one that we are getting, if we are getting it. And I mean, it's not the fastest thing ever. It goes around 1,800 kilometers per hour, Mach 1.5. Um, and I mean, it is pretty all right. You know, don't expect this thing to be an incredible fighter. But when it comes down to the ground targets, um, yeah, it's very good. For a cannon, it has a 23mm, of course the Grisha 23, the normal gun that we see in MiG-21s, 23s and many others, uh, has 300 rounds for it. And yeah, apparently, I, I, I think I got it wrong actually, it is uh, it has two wingtip um, like pylons as well, I don't know, probably carrying air-to-air -air missiles or something like that. But then he has the six pylons under the fuselage and wings, and then one um, major one under the fuselage for carrying probably fuel tanks. Um, has a capacity of 9,000 kilograms of um, external fuel and ordnance, right? Uh, it can carry obviously any type of unguided bombs and rockets that the Chinese have. But once it comes to the guided stuff, it's where I think it, it kind of is really, really interesting. So. Initially, PL-5, obviously, a missile that we already have. Of course, the PL-8, and you can see that it does have an 11.7 BR, if I'm not mistaken, from what we saw on the dev server. So, it will probably be very high BR, so I don't doubt that we will see the PL-8 on it. Um, it could actually carry the PL-9, PL and of course, the PL-12 as well. Of course, those two, they're not ready to for the game yet, they're too advanced, but in the future, you can actually carry a Fox 3 missile, apparently, according to some sources, I don't know how precise that thing is, but um, 
at least it can defend itself with IR guided uh, missiles. Um, for ground guided, you have a lot of things. Uh, you can use anti ship missiles like the Yinji, I think it's called, 8 and 82K, uh, which are very, very interesting missiles. I mean, subsonic, you know, um, anti ship cruise missiles. Nothing too crazy to talk about, but very, very cool nonetheless. For air to surface missile uh, missiles, you can carry something like the um, uh, CM um, 802, uh, which is another like cruise missile kind of situation. Um, you can even take anti radiation missiles like the uh, Yangji 91 as well, which is very similar to the uh, Zvezda Strela um, K. Uh, 31P anti-radiation missile from the Russians. So uh, very, very, very interesting to see many types types of guided missiles. But also laser guided stuff like the GB1, GB5, and GB100, and even satellite guided bombs like the LS5, for example, or stuff like that. You know, so uh, LS6, sorry. Uh, so yeah, it can you know use many type of guided weapon to air to ground and some forms of air-to-air -air as well. It has a helmet-mounted sight that can help with the missiles and the weapons in, in general. It has internal ECMs, apparently, and even the Raider um, got upgraded um, eventually to a very interesting Raider, a very similar Raider to the um, one in the J-10, if I'm not mistaken, because these namings sometimes are very similar to other ones and stuff, but in general, they use the JL-10A, which is a post Doppler radar that can actually have a slotted planar array radar, apparently. So, kind of a PESA, or something like that. As I said, I'm not going to confirm anything, because it's really, really hard to find information about these specific radars. But apparently, they say that it can detect a target um, flying, a MiG-21 size, which is very small, at 75 kilometers, and detect a ship for more than 150 kilometers. So, it is very capable not the fastest thing ever probably not gonna be the most maneuverable thing i would say because it is quite heavy but and it doesn't have any type of you know uh, swing wing kind of mechanic like the f-111 so the empty weight of it is 14,500 kilograms it is pretty pretty big and pretty heavy so i don't think it's going to be the best fighter ever but as a cast option and as a bomber, it will probably be the best that China will receive, for sure, right? I mean, even though the MLU has the Mavericks, if they add the laser-guided stuff and some of the other weapons that the JH can actually use, uh, it will be far superior in the sense of fighting targets, um, finding targets, right? And actually destroying them, like tanks and stuff. And in the game, apparently, in the CDK, he already has the... Um, one form of, um, you know, uh, laser designator kind of system, right? So it will probably be very effective at that. And I gotta be honest, China was one of the nations that were in a need for something like this. As I said, the MLU is pretty good and it can do very well if the target, if the, the player knows uh, what he's doing with the Mavericks and stuff. But I just think that a more focused fighter bomber, you know, uh, an aircraft that can actually be effectively just a bomber slash cast aircraft will be way better and it will probably be of course under the h5 or the, K the q5 one of those you know we don't know is exactly yet i don't think but yeah very very exciting guys uh it was an aircraft I, that i really really wanted for a very long time and it's fin finally being added now i think the only one that is missing from these type of fighter bombers more bombers um, that I really love is the SU-24 because we got the Tornado, which I love. We got the F-111 finally, even though it's a very early variant. And now the JH-7. And of course, we already have the amazing Mirage 2000D as well. So the JH... Uh, the, yeah, the JH uh, together with the SU-24 were the two last ones that I really, really wanted in the game. So very cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about this aircraft. Do you think it's going to be effective or not? And yeah, I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye.